This video tutorial covers the process of creating a site for your location within the Google Site System and then adding content from it from various other components and various other tasks in the Business Mapping Project. So we're going to begin in the URL sites.google.com. I've signed in with my uh, Gmail account and so I'm now I'm ready to go. I'll hit the link Create New Site. So from this page I'm going to choose the template for the site. I enter 485 in the search string and select that. I'm going to call the site City of Murray. I'm going to select the iceberg theme. You can select any of these that you'd like. And for a description, I'm going to call it what to see and do around Murray, Kentucky. code. So now the basic structure of the site is ready. Uh, and you can see that we'll have four pages in the site map and we'll also have links to Picasso Web Albums, Google Maps, and YouTube. Now in this format, any of the places where it says location, I'm going to replace that with the name of my location, which is essentially Murray, Kentucky. I can edit any of the pages simply by navigating that page and click Edit Page. For part one, the first task in the project, all I have to do is provide a little background information on the location itself. So that's all at the home page. So I'm going to edit the home page. Change the title to Murray, Kentucky Home. And where it says down here, that I'm going to add content to the information information about Murray and what's around it. Uh, I will just provide text that says this site provides information about Murray Murray, Kentucky and some of the some of the interesting places to visit here. with spell check already there. Okay, so for now, when I provide that information on why I've chosen this particular location uh, for my, my page, uh, then I'm ready to go and I can just save that and now the first part of the, uh, of the project is done. So as you move into part two, the second task of the project, you will develop a Picasso web album and a YouTube video. And both of those eventually get added to the home page of the site as well. And let me show you how that's done. We're back now on the home page, which is now Murray, Kentucky Home. We'll edit that page again. So let's go down now to where the, the slideshow is. And there are two ways of doing that. Uh, in the first one, you simply indicate the location where the cursor where you would like it to go. Insert Picasso Web Slideshow. You are then given a dialog box in which you paste the URL of your Picasso Web Album. And my Picasso web album is up here. And to find the URL for that, I come down to link to this album. And this is the text that I copy right here. So control C to get that copied. And then back on Google Sites, I would simply insert that uh, in, the, in the dialog box where it asks for it. A second way of doing that is simply to right click on the Google Slideshow gadget within the site, click Properties, paste my URL there, change the title as I needed to, uh, and then hit Save. And it will now show. If I hit Save for the page, the slideshow will start to play. Some of the same thing happens in the YouTube video. You can either place the cursor where you want it to be, insert video YouTube, and paste the URL of the YouTube video there which you get from your YouTube, the video you've selected in YouTube, you simply cut and paste that URL and that puts it in. Or, again, right click, properties, paste that URL right here and provide the title you'd like and you're set. So I now hit save. 
the site is saved, the slideshow, and the video both now show up within the page. In part three of the business mapping project, you create a Google map that you want to insert into your website. That's going to go on the location page. So I'm going to edit that page. Change location again to around Murray, Kentucky. You can watch this video that explains how you embed the map. You can follow this set of instructions to embed the map. Or, once again, insert map. Uh, and you can paste the link to the Google map in this text box uh, and then hit select and it will load. Now, where do you get that Google map? Um, it's here. Link. And so that image there, or that text there, that is the link to the Google Map that you paste uh, inside that box for the map to display. Or, once again, right click Properties, change the map, and you can provide the URL here. So, either way that you do that, you now then have the Google Map inserted in the text, and when you save that page, uh, it will turn up. The next task you'll perform would be to do some comparative analysis uh, on a Google Places listing for a restaurant within the area that you're talking about. Uh, and you will provide the required elements for that task in the Google Places report. Uh, and in this one, the tasks that are listed in the, in the syllabus uh, and the schedule are also indicated here. So you simply edit this page, provide answers to all these questions. And that then constitutes your Google Map report. I'm sorry, your Google Places report. Uh, save that. The same thing happens in the site selection report. You perform the task indicated here, and you'll do those. You'll do those by working with the Center for Entrepreneurship Demographic Data Online Mapping Service uh, that you'll also find listed from the schedule page in the syllabus. So once you have your questions answered based on that, uh, you simply answer those questions in the site selection report, save that page, uh, and then all your business mapping uh, tasks are completed. Uh, and that will conclude the way you have collected all the information from the business mapping tasks uh, within your Google Sites website. And that completes this video tutorial.